day six and we are making some adjustments um, we're getting some of our uh, equipment I guess that we ordered off of Amazon we have a new composting toilet that flushes up to 50 50 times not bad and a little stove electrical stove Yeah, just trying to figure out how we're gonna fit everything in here. And we're gonna have to move that pole right there because that is the perfect spot for our toilet, but we can't get it in there with the pole. So we're gonna remove that, add some shelves, a bookshelf, um, and we're still working on the curtains. That's been probably one of the biggest challenges is getting these curtains to stay up. Right now, um, behind me, they're not up, but in front of me is up. Some glue and some tape is what it is at the moment, but I'm hopeful that we'll find a better solution. Um, that's it for now. Um, keeping you updated in a little bit. Just testing out our new shower. Do it. That's cold. <laughs> River, you want a bath? <laughs> want a bath? You want a bath? You want a bath? Oh, you don't like water. Yeah. Just got up from our first lakes. Sleep in the truck. Stephen's already out because he has to go to work. But I thought that was a pretty important moment that we should share. But it was pretty good. Um, we got our new fan. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? There it is. Um, it works pretty good. Right now it's kind of hot and our curtains fell down. These curtains fell right on river. Oh my god, it's okay though. So it wasn't like the most comfortable but it was definitely sleepable probably add a few more something else cushiony Just, we do have an air mattress too that if we need to we'll throw on top of here to really give some cushion to our back All right, so it's super messy right now. We're going to figure out exactly how we're going to be organizing stuff uh, while we're on the go and when we have time to like figure out where exactly we want everything. And there's our pantry dry storage. There's my wife. Hey, wife. All right, so here's our inverter box. Um, it's separate, so the hookups are separate so that we don't cross wires and kill ourselves accidentally. And it is ran through to the battery right here. And there's a separate power box that we can use to uh, jump start the battery just in case we use too much power and kill the battery. So here's our camper shell almost completely set up. <clears throat> here's our setup now with our fans hooked up and everything is hooked to the power inverter that you just saw. Um, here's our portable sink which hopefully will be working a little bit better. 
And we also have a second fan now, thanks to my mother, as well as a little, a little blue light that you're seeing. She gave us a couple donations to help the cause. And that's a little mini fridge, which is big enough to fit a can and doesn't really get cold enough. But, okay, a little bit else. So underneath here now, we've got the power inverter. That toothbrush is not, that's not its own. Uh, an extra light. Don't mind the wires. And it's a couple cooking supplies down there. I don't know if you can see them or not. And that's all we got so far. Hope you like it. We're packing up and we're uh, about to um, head out. <clears throat> got the rest of the truck like kind of packed away. All that stuff's under a bungee cord, so it's not going to go anywhere. And Alexa's nice design touches. And we've got our two cargo bins, and then we got a well cargo box and a cargo bag, and we're packed tight. Very tight. All right, later.